Mmm. Mmm. It's awful. Well, um, welcome back to the new Dopen Recap for the month of March. Listen, I I'm too sleepy for this, okay? I started to go to training at like 5 a.m. So, so I'm gonna be a bit drowsy. But anyways, what actually happened uh, in March? I mean, Dopen, it just bottled it, didn't it? It's just, it's not good, not at all. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what happened in the month of March? Well. Uh, my board exams got over, which basically meant that I was free to do whatever the fuck that I wanted until the May of 5th when my results come out and after that I'm pretty much, you know, not even gonna exist because I'll be fucking dead. Secondly, I managed to actually end up on a fucking magazine called The Poke. Like, I ended up on an article about them because I co-tweeted a Tate tweet, like Aunt Tate's tweet. And the Tate was, uh, the tweet was about how Tate met like this one called, a person called Pain and one person called Suffering, and I put it in the caption saying "No way, Tate just made a life for dopamine fan," and apparently that was good enough that the Pope managed to get it. I mean, I don't know who they are, but looking at them, Christian Fuchs and Guy Lineker follows them, so hey, I, I guess they are legitimate. <laughs> and what else? Oh yeah, I was trying, I was pretty much obsessed with trying to get Riz, you know, like the unspoken Riz, like, you could see me here on Twitter trying to get Riz, I uh, was trying to Riz up some females, and I was like, and I failed that at every single time. I mean, to be fair, I do have, like, what, 10 years to perfect the art of the Riz, so I can still try to risk people and pay off and it won't uh, affect anything. Anyways, so let's go to Dortmund, shall we? We started off the month pretty good. I mean, hey, we I mentioned it last time. A 2-1 win over Leipzig. So let me just say this. Leipzig were one of the more informed teams. They were cooking like anything. Then they come to Dortmund and within the first 20 minutes, Marco Royce earns a penalty. It's then he sluts away, you know, it's Marco Royce. Then, next, from a corner, flipping, uh, it goes out of the box and flipping, Emre only bangers Chan, bangs it into the net. Oh, a 2 0 against Leipzig. And then it, nothing pretty much happened. Um, we didn't do anything and then Leipzig scored in the 78th minute or something. Emil Forsberg tapping it in and that's when like the crunch or butt clenching season started because two nil leads we have bottled too many times and then at the last minute Timo Werner had a chance. It goes past Maya and she hits Schlotterbeck's shoulder like that brother literally saved the game over there. And then, at the last minute, Maya saved a goal. And that's how it ended, 2-1. Now, you might be noticing I said Maya and not Kobel. Why? Well, literally during the warm-up to the game, Kobel got a thigh injury and got sent out. And there were, like, risks where you won't make the Chelsea game. But, you know, let's take the risk. I mean, we are already beating Leipzig with Meyer, and Leipzig are such a better team than Chelsea. We are doing this. We are going on to win the tri- All I'm gonna say is, Chelsea deserved the beatdown that came to them after they bought the ref. Let's move past that. Okay, leave the Chelsea game. Let's go on to the Riverby, Riverby, which is against the bottom place Schalke. Surely, surely we can't bottle this. Oh, you couldn't even let me finish the sentence. Good, yeah. Yes, we bottled that game as well. It ended 2-2. Like, Schlotterbeck bangs one in out of nowhere. It's 1-0 to Dortmund going into halftime. And then, 52nd minute, we screw up. Jude Bellingham moves the ball away. Krag gets it to Fry. Fry passes it to Bolta. Bolta scores. It's 1-1. Then a few minutes later, you have Mr. Cooking Man himself. Rafael Guerrero. Now let me tell you something about this man. We are not gonna extend him, most likely. Like we were not supposed to extend him. And then we and then Terzic moved him to centre mid. 
this bread I've been cooking ever since. I mean, bro, he's literally the assist leader in the Bundesliga right now. Rafael Guerrero shoots, scores. It is 2-1. Then you go into the 80th minute. Chalka pressing whatever. They score with Karaman. And this is a game which we could have won, by the way. We had like 30 shots or something. And yeah, we pretty much gave up hope. This was also the match which caused us to go two points behind Bayern. Without this game, if this game we had won, we would have gone like we would have still been level on points with Bayern. But because of this, we are two points behind. Now, we weren't going into Chrome with expectation. I mean, we still had the Bozo Meyer and go. We still had like, we still had like 2,000 different injuries. God damn, we are gonna lose this badly. And then we won 6 1, so. I actually forgot who scored in that game because there were like so many goals. I'm pretty sure Rafael Guerrero scored, then Daniel Marlin scored, then. Did Jude Bellingham even score? I don't know. I need to go check this one, right? Rafael Guerrero got two. Sebastian, I mean, Rafael Guerrero got one. Sebastian Alea got a brace. Marco Royce got a brace and Daniel Marlin. Um, if you're wondering whether for one goal for Köln came in, let's just say Meyer is a bozo. Like this brother literally had a bozo moment. Like this guy catches, went to catch the ball. He misses it and instead of going for it again, he goes back into the post, letting Davy Selka score. Bro, what the hell are you doing? You have gone for the ball again. Green team play doesn't matter. And that's the end of the Dortmund recap for the month of March. And the month of April is going to be clutch. And I am working on too many projects right now. Uh, I still have the Red Bull Channel thing to work on. I need to do Union San Silo as a like, documentary thing. I need to work on more scripts, etc. So, yeah. And when it comes to April, Let's just say this has been turbulent, to put it mildly. And if you want to see where we ended off March, we ended up on top because Bayern lost to Leverkusen. And the next match was the Classica, where I still get PTSD despite the fact that we are now top as of this recording. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.